Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. We're going to do a request. The request comes in from my reaction to the Bay City Rollers doing the song Bye Bye Baby. The requester goes by the YouTube name of Bill Fairbank. And Bill writes this, great review. They also cover Don't Worry Baby as well. Oh yes, Nick Lowe, know them both, LOL. Also, there was a song by Jackie and, Dan, Jackie and Jan called Bay City Roller Boys. Could you do Living in the 70s by Skyhooks, a great Aussie band? Cheers from Down Under. I thought, yeah, let's do that. I've never heard of the Skyhooks, so this should be interesting. I did look them up on Wikipedia, as I normally look up groups that I don't know or songs I've never heard before. And they're a group that was formed in 1973 in Melbourne, uh, Melbourne, uh, Australia. Uh, they're made up of Greg McHench. I don't know if that's exactly how it's pronounced, McHench, on um, bass guitar and backing vocals. Immense Strox on drums. Bob Bongo Starkey on guitar and backing vocals. Red Simmons on guitar, vocals and keyboards and Steve Hill as the lead vocalist. Um, in 1974, they picked up a different lead vocalist by the name of Graham Strachan. So that, that's the group. Um, don't know if I've, I've ever heard of any of these people before, but this should be interesting. They're described as a glam rock band because of their flamboyant costumes and makeup. Hmm, okay, that should be interesting. Uh, their first single was the song that's being requested, which is back, which is called Living in the 70s. Now that song charted on the, on the Australian singles chart and came in at number 28. What's interesting, that came out in 74. What's interesting is that in 1975, their second single was called Horror Movie and rose to number one in Australia in their singles chart. And then their next two singles, were number twos. Ego is not a dirty word. That sounds kind of an interesting song. All my friends are getting married. Both those are number two hits for them. And uh, so they're very strong in Australia. They really didn't chart anywhere else. I mean, uh, very random charting here in, in uh, New Zealand and the UK. So again, as I said, I, I'd never heard of this band before, so I'm kind of interested they appear to be a glitter group, which I love glitter music. Uh, I was huge in the glitter music in the 70s. Their first album was also called uh, Living in the 70s, and that also came out in 1974. And that actually peaked at number one on the Australian album charts. So they must have been a hot commodity in Australia. So let's sit back and watch Skyhooks do the song Living in the in the 70s.
Okay. Uh, if you notice, I didn't stop the video. Uh, because I had never seen this group before, I never heard the song before, I kind of wanted to see the whole thing. I didn't want to interrupt it and then try to get back into it again. kind of wanted to absorb the whole song. A uh, little different. I... I I was able I was able to catch a lot of the lyrics and um, again I'm I'm more of a music person than a lyric person but I was able to catch a lot of the lyrics and this came out in 1974 and um, you know that was when you know I had just graduated from high school and things like that so I could relate to a lot of the lyrics I mean he was kind of singing about all the things that. Uh, was going on at that time you know you, you couldn't walk out in the street without getting your face dirty and he's, I think he's he's talking about air pollution um, he, he had to calm down and take a pill you know that was big um, you know downers and uppers and so he was kind of talking a lot about the things that were going on in the 70s and and you know I'm living in the 70s and these are the things that are happening so I thought the lyrics were, were pretty interesting because I actually went through that time frame not that I did all those things but but I went through that time period the band itself is kind of unique. Some, you know, they, they're not all painted up. Some are painted up with their face and wearing different outfits. Some are just wearing, like the lead singer, just kind of wearing that fuzzy coat and a tie. Uh, the drummer had like a top hat on. So they, they were all kind of, kind of their own thing. They're kind of doing their own thing in the way they're presenting themselves on stage. Now, musically, I, I really liked the song. I, I thought it had a really good, now I don't mean this as, as a pun, but it had a really nice sky hook in it. I mean, it had a really nice hook, really nice hook, really nice beat. I like that repetitive beat it had. Um, it just really kind of grabbed you and, and brought you into the song. So this was definitely like written to be a, a top 40 single because it had that feel to it. It was a really, really good pop song. And, you know, a lot of the glitter at the time were, were heavier pop songs. They, they had a different little bit of uh, edge to it, but still um, radio-friendly, very radio-friendly. And then when we went into the guitar solo, this kind of guy comes out from behind a, a wall or whatever, dressed kind of bizarre. <laughs> Let's just say that. Dress kind of bizarre and starts doing like go-go dancing. So, I mean, the group was definitely about stage presence. It was, this is a group that, you know, you could buy the album, put the album on it and enjoy the album. But you really didn't get the full effect unless you saw them. Because they were definitely about not presenting only music and a song, but how they looked and how they presented it very very cool very much uh, like the 70s I and mean, this is very much early 70s um, not only in australia but pretty much in the uk and 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 a little bit here in the united states you know we had the new york dolls in the united states here so we had some of this going on but this was more uh, of a uk type uh, phenomena and I, I think that's where, the, where this comes from in Australia as well, where it's, it, it's, it's kind of an Australian phenomena. So I, I liked it. It was, it was fun. It was fun to watch. It was a really decent song. I, I really liked the beat in this song. I mean, it was just really well placed. I mean, I, even from the beginning with, with that guitar notes in the beginning, it, it brought you into the song and, and was was interesting and like I said I, the lyrics I was because I wasn't thinking about stopping it I, I had planned I'm not going to stop this I could listen more to the lyrics and I liked how the lyrics were placed and and how they spoke about the early 70s because it was, it was pretty true what was happening in Australia was happening here in the United States as well so I, I like this this is this was a fun song um like to look at a couple more of their songs. I, I kind of like the titles of some of their songs. I thought they're, they're, those are kind of cool. And, um, you know, from this one being a number 28 hit in Australia to jumping to their next one, which was a call, I think it was called Horror Movie, to a number one hit. Wow, they must have just been uh, a phenomena in Australia. And the people just went from, okay, this is a new group to, wow, these guys are really hot. Because their next two singles after uh, their number one was both number two hits. So that that's impressive. That's very, very impressive. So I like this. This was very good. So if you liked it, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. If you have any comments about Skyhooks living in the 70s, hey, put it in the comments below. That'd be really cool 
as well. I'm going to take the link to this video, which I thought was kind of fun. It was a good, fun video. I guess this was taken from uh, a show called Countdown in Australia, and they actually uh, performed it for the first time, I guess, on that show. So, uh, But I think this was the, uh, the actual single version that was used over uh, the top, or they had lip-synced it on the show. I, I, that I don't know. It's the first time I've seen this video, first time I've heard this song. So I'm going to take the link to this video and put it in my notes below. And I'm also going to take the link to the channel that uploaded this video and put it in my notes below as well. So you can check out the video again by clicking on the link. It will open up and play for you. If you want to check out the channel, click on that and you can see what else that person has to offer. Have you subscribed to Driving With Todd? If you haven't, let's do it now. You've got my video open here. Just go below the video and hit subscribe. It's that simple and you'll be in. If you go over here, ring the bell, you'll get updates to my latest video. This is a great request. I, I love these requests from uh, different countries that are that have very localized groups. And, you know, so I'm never going to have heard this before. I'm never going to have seen this before. So it, it kind of enlightens me as well to what was going on in the world at these different time frames. So this was really fun. Put a big smile on my face. I'm hoping to put a big smile on your face. And peace out, baby.